Okay, so massive news from the Unity uh, sphere. Uh, Unity have bought Weta Digital uh, for the sweet, sweet sum of $1.625 billion. Now, that's not a small amount of change, and you've got to wonder why they're spending such a large amount. And if you think to the kind of acquisitions that Unreal Engine and Epic have been making recently, and the market share that Unreal Engine seems to be gaining and has had actually for quite a while in films and TV, like The Mandalorian using the uh, screens and visually simulating the scenes like on stage on the LED screens. You can see why Unity might be like wanting to kind of get ahead of the game there. Uh, there's a quite an interesting article here from Variety, uh, kind of talking about how this is actually going to work in, in theory. Um, so at some point, Unity plans to make Weta Digital tools available to creators through a cloud-based workflow with software as a service pricing to be announced later. Now, software as a service pricing can either go two ways. This is even going to go the way of Adobe and their purchase of Substance, where they've not even rolled it into Creative Cloud. It's still its own separate uh, subscription, and it's just a bit of a ripoff now. Or it could go the other way again, like Epic and Unreal. They could put a cheap tier in for Indies or even a free tier. Um, I'm assuming they're going to go more of the Adobe route than the Epic route. I haven't got any basis for why I think that's just a bit of a gut feeling. So what are some of these tools that they're talking about? What are these software as a service tools going to be? Well, um, over on the Unity blog, there is actually a list of the tools and I'll just skim over them very quickly. So uh, there's Manuka, which is a path tracing renderer, uh, Gazebo, which is a core interactive renderer used for viewing scenes in real time. Uh, Loki, which provides physics-based simulation and visual effects, including water, fire, smoke, hair, cloth, muscles, plants. Koru is an advanced puppet rigging system. Uh, there's going to be some facial tech. Barbershop, which is about hair and fur. Tissues, another one of the tools. This is about making biologically accurate anatomical character models. There's Apteryx, which is about feathers and grooming for feathered creatures. Uh, world building tools. Now this is one that really kind of stands out to me and would be great if we get this in uh, Unity on, on the game side of things. Um, but there's going to be a scenic designer and city builder and it's going to support um, building layout and set dressing range from planet scale to small scale city scenes or like uh, scenic scenes. There's going to be node based procedurally generated uh, cities essentially so we can get that for a reasonable price. Um, scalable to work with video games, that's going to be amazing. Uh, there's Lumberjack, which is uh, vegetation tools, including modeling, editing, and deformation. Uh, there's Totara, which is a procedural growth and simulation system. Uh, Eddy, again, liquid, smoke, and fire compositing plugin. Um, and then, yeah, there's a few others. I'll link this blog post down below. You can. It, there's a lot to sort of dig into here. And the hope for Unity in these tools is they're going to include linking them to other tools, such as Speedtree, um, and they mention Maya and Hadouni here. Unfortunately, no Blender mentioned, but you never know. And then they start to talk about the metaverse, uh, and this is where it kind of loses me a little bit. Um, they they do say as much in this, but like no one knows what the metaverse is going to be yet. They love throwing that kind of word around. They've pitched this as a bit of a core technology in helping the content creators uh, make the metaverse, whatever that will be. And this is really nice. Uh, I've got a bit of a connection with New Zealand. Like my ultimate goal in life is to move there with my fiance. Um, but they shared a Maori proverb, which I'm probably going to butcher this, uh, but it's na to ro roa na taku ro ro ka ora aya te iwi, which translates roughly to uh, with your bread basket and my bread basket, our people will thrive. Uh, and I think that's kind of the great thing about this community. And, Again, I've, I know I've mentioned Epic and Unreal, but they've kind of combined their bread baskets uh, with different companies and kind of shared them to the world. And I really hope that Unity will uh, do that as well and continue to take that forward. Um, but yeah, just a quick video kind of going through this announcement and sh explaining what some of those tools are. I hope this video was useful. If anything else comes to light that I think's worth sharing a video about, or if there's anything you'd like covered in more detail, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, and it's worth noting actually at the bottom of this someone's commented asking um about a beta or like how and when can we try it and trey one of the mods has replied and said we haven't announced our timing plans for beta programs or commercial release but stay tuned for this so no one knows when this is releasing so you know there's no release date for this but hopefully you know it won't be too far off and hopefully there will be trials and betas and stuff that we can get stuck in for free and in the meantime thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye